In hospital, it's not just the doctors and nurses who help to get you fixed. There are lots of other heroes working behind the scenes. Ah, yes! What will happen when we have a go at their amazing jobs? Welcome to the Dr. Chris Show. Useless. This is Operation Takeover. Today's takeover hero is ward chef Damien. Every ward has its own chef, and he's one of the incredible team cooking all the healthy, tasty meals in the hospital that help patients to get better. This idea is all about making sure we serve the kids food as a part of a medicine and then making sure the kids eat breakfast, dinner and lunch. Damien is spot on. Eating well and enjoying your food can really help people to get well quicker. So on the wards, it's the children who choose what they eat from a healthy menu. Bon appétit. Bon appétit, Ruby. So what do the patients think of the ward chef's food? How has the food been? Nice. Has it been really nice? Yes. Do you feel like you're getting well fed in the hospital? Sure. And what do you think you're going to have for dinner? Sausages and mash. Do you think they're cooking it right now? Yeah. No sausages for you, Zand. Oh, Chris. So we found out just how important the ward chef is to the running of a hospital. But have we got what it takes to step up to the plate? Get it? Plate? The chefs make treats every afternoon to cheer up their patients, and today, that job is falling to us. It's time for us to take over as hospital ward chefs. You're going to make cookies. Cookies? Yum! Yes, Aunt, we've both got identical ingredients and decorations to make our cookies. They'll be judged on how good they are by Damien, and then Jacob and Dominique. But before we start, we need some advice from someone who knows all about cookie making. Tilly Ramsey. Hello, Dr. Chris and Dr. Zard. Hi, Tilly. Number one, don't rush. And number two, make sure all your ingredients are ready and laid out before you start. But most of all, have fun. Thanks, Tilly. Bye. Your time starts now. Well, let's get cracking. Just need the egg yolk. I'm just doing this quite roughly. I'm not overly concerned with getting everything right to the nearest gram. Hmm. Winging it, eh, Chris? I'm going for a more measured approach. <clears throat> Fingers, Zand. Oh, shouldn't have done that. I may be in trouble here. I just seen her licking her fingers, which is not a good practice. Is that illegal? Oh, uh, Better wash my hands again. I've got some nice blue food colour. I'll just have to make my own green by mixing yellow and blue. Perfect. Oh, no, Zand's using his hands again. So are you, Chris. Luckily, we've both washed them. I am going to make one big biscuit. My attention to detail will win in the end. These are going to be the best biscuits ever. There is my blue C, ready to go in the oven. Tilly would be proud. In they go. And out they come. And now for a few finishing touches. It'll take more than that, Chris, to beat me. I ran out of icing. Oh, and that says Dr. Crick. Ha! Well, now I've definitely won with these beautiful... Ah! Oh, they're burnt! Oh, dear. Well, that's nothing a bit more decoration won't fix. Et voila! Time to see what Chef Damien thinks. It looks burnt. And... Oh, it's even raw inside. Ha! Zans is burnt and raw. I'm gonna win. Sorry, okay. Chef. What about mine? Yours is still raw inside. Ha-ha! <laughs> raw as well. Touché, mate. By the look of it, it's not safe to eat. That's bad. We have to judge them on appearance alone. We certainly blew that one. Yes, we did. Utterly failing in our task by making cookies the patients can't even eat. Don't tell Tilly. So, after our failure, the verdict will be based on decoration alone, to be decided by the most important judges in the hospital. Ta-da! Wow, dun, 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 you dun. decorated it! <laughs> That's amazing! Uh, impressing already. Right! Yours is beautiful. What? You think mine is beautiful? I think so, Jacob, you're not a sprinkles man. Time for the result. Which plate of biscuits do you think looks best? One for me, oh no, and two for Dr. Zand. Ah! This is burned. So, we've seen that Damien and all the chefs here work really hard to make sure the patients get the right and most delicious food to make them well. I think we should leave it to the experts. There you go, Damien. Ouch. This is Operation Takeover. 
When you're a patient, life can be a bit boring, so it's important to keep upbeat and entertained on the wards. Today's hospital heroes help with that. They are Radio Lollipop DJs Dom and Chaminda. They're hosts on the Evelina Children's Hospital radio station, which broadcasts just for the patients to cheer them up and reduce stress, which is good for health. It is Thrilling Thursday. I'm really excited. We have some very special guests coming in later. <gasps> I think they're talking about us, Chris. Let's say hello. Are we live now? Absolutely. Yes. Hi, kids. So, what is it like doing hospital radio? It's great fun. The children love it as well, and if they're having fun, then we have the most fun. As a kid, being in hospital is not the most exciting place to be, so it takes them away from the whole hospital environment. What I want to know is what are the ingredients of a really good radio show? I reckon you guys should go upstairs onto the wards, find out firsthand from our listeners what makes a really good radio show. That's a brilliant idea. OK, let's hit the wards and get... the top three tips to being a hospital radio show host. In at number three... Try to be funny a little bit. Good luck with that one, Zand. Oi, what's at number two? Do you get singing? Do you think that the DJ should sing, or do you think we should just play the records? Sing. Really? Uh-oh. And finally, top of the charts is... Don't embarrass yourself. That's easy for me. A little bit less easy for doctors aren't. Thanks, Toller. And thank you, Summer. So we found out just how important the job of hospital radio host really is. But have we got what it takes to be on the same wavelength as the real professionals? Get it? Wavelength? It's time for us to be hospital radio hosts. So your challenge today is to take over the airwaves for 10 minutes each. And then we want to see how you handle a special guest. Right, this should be trivial. And I have a special guest in mind who I think will give me an enormous advantage. I don't have a guest. Where am I going to get a guest? Better go find a guest. I have a professional DJ as my guest. It's Radio 1 Extra DJ Yasmin Evans. And I am going to thrash Dr Zahn as a result. Not so fast, Chris. Meet the judges. They're tuned in, ready to pick a winner. Who's the best? They decide. Bring it on. I'll go first. What time is it? It's Dr Christo! <laughs> Hospital Radio's number one Operation Ouch-based show. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Dr Chris show. I have with me Yasmin Evans. How are you, Yasmin? I'm very well. How Good. are you? I thought I'd been really clever inviting you along because you could really help me out. And yes. In fact, it's just piled and piled on the pressure. I first go as a DJ. I'm going to hit play. I'm going to turn these up. And now we can hear Justin That's Bieber. Justin Bieber. We're talking over it. But can they still hear us? They can take us down. Oops. I wonder if anyone noticed. It's a good job Yasmin's here. This is a nightmare. Chris has already got a guest and I don't have one. Where am I going to get a guest at such short notice? OK, I'm going to try and work the screen. I'm sorry, everyone listening. Here we go. I hope I'm not losing the judges. Oh, that's Nick no, Jonas. That's Nick Jonas. Ah, Hold on. there's so many buttons. I got that. Thank goodness Zahn still doesn't have a guest. Hang on, I've spotted someone. It's Laverne the housekeeper. Can I, can I stop you cleaning? Will you be a guest on my radio show? Oh, I'll think of it. You'll be all right? Yep. Come on, then, come with me. Okay. Off we go. Phew, just in the nick of time. And for all the judges out there, I guess I want to leave you with the thought um, how much better this has been than Dr Zand <laughs> is going to be. Thanks a lot, everyone. <laughs> Bye. I must say, that is, it's phenomenally stressful. Give me five. Beat that, Zand. Over to you. Hey, everybody, it's Dr Zand. Oh. One thing's for sure, I'll give it a go. It's time for Dr Zand's amazing radio show! This is Dr Zand, and let me tell you, I'm going to make your eardrums burst. No, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. OK, that'd be bad. <laughs> I'm going to give you dandruff. How about that? See, Chris? I can be funny. If you say so. We have an incredible guest. The world famous, the one, the only, Laverne Lodrick. Laverne, how are you doing? Hi there, Doctor. Good evening. I'm going to play some relaxing music. How's that going? <laughs> the judges wanted singing. Because I can't find Yes, but you are 100% embarrassing. <laughs> now, what's the food like in the hospital? Uh, 
I've never tasted the patient food. <laughs> <laughs> never stolen food off a, off a, a poorly oh, child. no, no. That's a bad that. thing to no. do. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I have done that occasionally. What? You can't do that. You're wonderful. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Time to admit defeat, Chris. Let's get the verdict. So, guys, tell us who the winner is. No! 4-1 in your face. You love me. You really do love me. So, judges, what did you like about my show? It was a little bit more funny. Well, it wasn't really you, it was more of your, um, specially death. <laughs> Ha! Huh, you got lucky, Zand. Well, we've seen just how important the job of radio hosts like Dom and Chaminda are to the running of the hospital. And although I did a lot better than you, according to the listening public, I think it is best left to the experts. Have the headphones back, guys. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Ouch. This is Operation Takeover. Today's hospital hero is Postman Brian, who single-handedly sorts, delivers and collects all the mail in the hospital. Older Hay is bigger than seven football pitches. Brian delivers to a hundred different locations and his daily rounds are over 12 miles long. So who gets most of the mail in the hospital? Doctors. Not the patients. It's a lot of the, the departments that get the mail. So it's not just get well cards, this is all the really important mail about yeah. patient letters. Referrals, referrals and stuff like that. that, yeah. So the letters you're dealing with here are some of the most important letters in the country. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Brian's work is vital to the running of the hospital, and we're just in time to help. Wow. Is, is this a big day, Brian? Yeah, Monday is a big day because of the weekend stuff as well. Great, so what next, Brian? We just sort of take the bags and uh, tip it out. Oh, 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 come on, Chris. Oh, not a great start. <laughs> when you do it, does quite a lot end up on the floor? No, not really. <laughs> oh, dear. Time to start sorting, and it's not as easy as you think. Older Hay Children's Hospital, Older Hay Children's NHS Foundation, Older Hay Children's Charity. They're not even calling it the same thing. I can't even read that. That seems to be an O or a D. I think we're going to struggle with this. I think you're right, Chris. While we've got off to a bad start, Brian has this down to a fine art. He's making this look quite easy. <laughs> With 100,000 letters arriving each year, there's no stopping him. You're not really pausing, Brian. There's not <laughs> a lot of puzzling around about this. Nope. <laughs> and it's not just important medical post. Deliveries can help make patients feel better. So while Brian's sorting the post downstairs, we're delivering some post to a young lady who gets a lot of mail here in hospital. Dolly. Bed 30. I'm here. There she is. We've met Dolly before in Ouch and About. Hi again, Dolly. So we've got some posts for you. Dolly, what would life in hospital be like if you didn't get any post? Boring. What things have you got in the post? This lion, the big fuzzy one. So what's his name? Wait a minute. There's only one name for a pet lion. Tiger. Am I right? Yeah. Did you tell him the lion's name was Tiger? No. Zan, the psychic postman. So we've seen just how important the job of hospital postman really is. But will we be able to... Wait for it. Don't do this, sound. I'm going to do it. Deliver when it comes to doing the job ourselves. Come on. It's time for us to take over as hospital postman. Your challenge today is to get these five important letters to patients and staff as quick as you can. So, Zand and I have five special Operation Ouch letters each to deliver around the hospital. The fastest postman wins. Zand, you're first. Ready, steady, post. Good luck. He's going to need it. I'm right behind you, Zand. Ready, steady, post. <laughs> to speed things up, I'm going to plan as I go. So we've got Beth in Ward. Butterfingers, Chris. I have no idea where I'm going. I need to do some planning. While Son's working out his route, I'm storming ahead. Me. That's you. I've got a letter for you. Thank you very much. To the ground floor. Oh, then, let's get some speed up. Come on. Four. B is Beth. OK, so that's number four. Hang on. I've only got four bits of mail. I've already lost one letter. It's not a good start. Kath Harding. But I'm doing OK. Left for you. Another one done. There you go. Come on, I can do this! Is this facilities management? I've got a letter for you. Finally, a delivery! But Chris has done more. I've got to speed up. Maybe this hospital robot can help me. I need to get to level, level two. Well, there's no need to be like that. 
<laughs> ah, level two. Here I am. And another delivery. Help! Chris is posting away. I need to get a lift first. Yes, a lift. Gee, ooh, I need level two. This lift doesn't go where I need to go. All right, I need to get up. Nearly done. I have a letter for you. Finally, out of the basement. Things are going a bit better. This might be closer than I thought. Only one lost and four delivered. Stop the clock. Hi, Joshua. Really nice to meet you. I have a letter for you. And stop the clock. What's the verdict, Brian? One did it in 29.19 and one did it in 19.32. So, Brian, who was who? The winner is... Oh. Yes! What? I posted you into defeat. So, uh, where did I go wrong? Losing a letter. OK, I was the slowest and I lost a letter. But I don't think it was the most important one. Lucky for you, it wasn't a real one. Well, in the end, it was a close run thing, but I think if there's one thing we've learned, it's just how important the job of hospital postman really is. It was not a close run thing, but either way, I think we should leave it to the experts. Brian, here is your post trolley back.